Hey everyone, me Kevin here. I'm gonna provide you an update on this lawsuit that we have against the state of California. I'm going to give you the next steps as to what to expect and when we're actually going to hear a ruling. And spoiler alert, it's going to be way sooner than you think. This is moving very, very quickly. So to catch you up to speed, last week I submitted all of my election paperwork on time and correctly to be listed as a candidate. So I'm not trying to get an exception made by suing the state of California. I'm not trying to cover up a mistake that I made. We made no mistakes on our election paperwork. Our election paperwork was perfect. And we submitted that I should be on the ballot as Kevin, quote, meet Kevin Pafrath. Because what you do when you have a nickname is you take your first name, your legal last name, and then in between in quotes, you put the nickname, which my nickname is Meet Kevin. In fact, the vast majority of you know me as Meet Kevin. Well, here's the letter that I got Saturday night at about 9.45 p.m. They were working late, apparently. Anyway, dear Mr. Pafrath, our office has reviewed your file as well as taken into consideration your branding and registered service mark, trademark, of Meet Kevin. We have determined that Meet Kevin is not a bona fide nickname, not a bona fide nickname. So they don't think that Meet Kevin is a bona fide nickname. As such, we will not allow Meet Kevin to appear on your name on the or, or with your name on the ballot. Remember, I don't want to appear on the ballot as Meet Kevin. It's in addition to my legal name, right? Now, this is really interesting because First of all, you have to determine, wait a minute, is this actually my nickname? And so take a look at this. I ran a poll two days ago. How do you tell people about me? That is, how do you know me slash my name? 64,000 votes, 93% said, I watch Meet Kevin on YouTube versus only 2% of respondents who said, I watch Kevin Paffrath on YouTube. More people said, I watch Kevin than said Kevin Paffrath. Why? Because most people have no clue what my last name is. And even if they do, they have no idea how to pronounce it. In fact, before I show you some of the legal precedent and tell you about the legal next steps, take a look at this. A fan made this video and just take a look at the first 14 to 15 seconds of this video. Really cool this fan did this, by the way. Super awesome supporter. Listen in. So hey everyone, meet Kevin here. Kevin Paff Paffrath? You pronounce it. Kevin Paffrath. Mr. Kevin, how do you say his last name? Paffrath? Paffrath? I just know him as Meet Kevin. Last name Kevin, first name Meet. There you go. <laughs> anyway, this is sort of goes into uh, is this is some more uh, connections or podcasts that we've had. Really cool put together here by the individual who sent this to me. But watch this. This is me on Fox Business with Kennedy, primetime Fox Business. They list me as YouTuber, quote, meet Kevin Paffrath, uh, clearly defining my nickname. But beyond that, listen to literally what Kennedy says in the next 15 seconds. Listen to this. Over the next five years and fast track permits, even for remodels, to which I say, yes, meet Kevin. Look, here's the thing. The California government. Come on, folks. Come on. It's so obvious that this is a nickname. Not only that, but watch Graham. Watch what he says right here. Listen to this. I'm part of the infinite monetization loop, and I'm having uh, Graham's girlfriend react to Meet Kevin and his wife Lauren uh, on how they make $6 million a year in Ventura, California. So, worth noting that Graham didn't say, I'm going to react to Kevin and Lauren, I'm going to react to Meet Kevin and his wife Lauren. So it's worth mentioning that there's some serious precedent as to why I'm defined as Meet Kevin. Not only have I been branding my, my business as Meet Kevin since 2013, but I've dropped my last name from all my marketing. But take a look at this. This is an official California recall ballot for 2003. And take a look at this, folks. Run right over here. Look what it says here. Kurt E. Takikazi. Reitmeier. Notice the Takikazi here is in quotes because it's a nickname, right? Independent, middleweight sumo wrestler. Now watch this. I go to the LA Times. But Reitmeier, this is on the LA Times, Reitmeier, whose sumo name, Takikazi, means wind from a sword stroke, insists it can be done. We live in a media-saturated culture. I really believe it's possible for an unknown to get his message out. Okay. So they let someone use their sumo name, but I can't use Meet Kevin? It's the same state. It has the same nickname laws. <laughs> like, it shouldn't be that difficult. But California is making it very difficult for us. In fact, not only did the Secretary of State call me yelling at me, but they basically, after, right before hanging up on me, said, if I don't like their result, I can sue them.
Like that that's how we're supposed to get relief? Very, very frustrating. Obviously, suing is very expensive. So if you want to support the cause, always feel free to go to meetkevin.com slash donate. Uh, sometimes people are like, oh, Kevin, just, just sell all your properties and all your stocks and, and pay your taxes and then fund your own campaign. It's like, you know, <laughs> like I can't go bankrupt trying to serve people. I'm already taking enough of an income hit just running in general. In fact, I just had a partnership uh, with, uh, I, it's it, it's a tech company, uh, tech company, well, I'll just say it, Google. Google was going to sponsor, was going to work on sponsoring us with a certain company. They had coordinated this sponsorship and it was gonna be like, hey, mention this company. It's a company I actually support. I wouldn't mention a company that I don't support otherwise. On the channel, mention this company. And if you mention it, you say this or whatever, you'll get paid X dollars. That's normal, right? But they said, oh, well, you know, as we were going through all the paperwork and we were going to do a sponsorship with you, which is kind of like how people do, this video is sponsored by Simply Safe or Squarespace or Audible, right? Super generic, super normal. Anyway, uh, they emailed us and they're like, oh, well, because you're running for office, we can't do a sponsorship. And it's like, okay, I, I get that. And, and like, I'm not mad at them, I get that. But when people are like, oh, you're running for office to make more money, I'm like, you realize that what you're saying is literally the opposite of what's actually happening. Like, forget about me because I know I'm not running to, for office for money. I could just make a few more courses and make more money. In fact, maybe that's what we should be doing. <laughs> uh, but the point is, you run for office it, from, from the place where we're coming, income goes down, not up. And, and, and fewer people watch the uh, the governor videos anyway, so it's it's not like your views go up. But I think people are just cynical. They're like, oh, YouTuber running for governor must be just trying to get more views. Anyway, here's our lawsuit. I uh, just you know basically we're just trying to argue that we've used our nickname for the better part of a decade. Blah 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 blah. Uh, we got our followers online. One thing that's really interesting is uh, back, take a look at this, take a look at this. This was great. This was one of my favorite arguments right here. The use of Pafrath's nickname is so pervasive that even his legal opponents refer to him as Meet Kevin. For example, in a lawsuit entitled Grant Cardone Exposed, oh sorry, that says Grant Cardone, Petitioner vs. Kevin Pafrath Respondent, which was filed in the Circuit Court of the 11th Judicial Circuit for Miami-Dade County, Florida, bearing case number whatever, Mr. Pafrath was referred to by his nickname on the temporary injunction for protection against, well, this is ridiculous, but anyway, uh, which was entered into. But then of course, look, of course, it's worth noting that the hearing a few weeks later, at the hearing a few weeks later, the temp the TRO was promptly dismissed by the judge as with without being with any merit whatsoever. This, by the way, is so hilarious because uh, I was sued and uh, Grant Cardone wasn't even present when we delivered flowers to his office staff. And the first time he met me was at Driven and he shook my hand and, and gave me a life lesson and we left on good terms. So it was kind of funny that, that this whole lawsuit happened, but that also explains why the lawsuit was dropped right away. But anyway, uh, that, that happens when you make videos in, in, uh, on YouTube, that can happen. So have, have good insurance is <laughs> good. But anyway, so these are some of the arguments uh, that we're making that our nickname is, is, is very common. In addition to some of the other things, or very common to us, in addition to some of the other things. So we've got our full lawsuit here. It's expensive to put this kind of stuff together and do, do the legal back work for all of this. But anyway, we, uh, so here's what's next. Next step is we filed this lawsuit. Right now, uh, we are on standby for a hearing time. We should get a uh, hearing time within the next 27 hours. That is like, we should know today what time tomorrow we're going to have a hearing. We're not sure yet if it's going to be Zoom or not. In fact, I'm gonna ask right now in person. Because if it's in person, I'm gonna have to fly. <laughs> and we're gonna have to like hit the road like ASAP on this. But anyway, uh, it's probably gonna be a Zoom hearing, which honestly would be beneficial because all of, obviously I'll go to it. But if it's Zoom, that means I can also present video a lot easier, right? I could just share screen or like I do here, you know, I click a button and I can share the screen uh, and play a video. That's probably going to be really useful in, in showing the judge essentially what I just showed you. Uh, I, I mean, to me, like, I think this is a no brainer, but you never know because people who don't know the YouTube world, they might go, oh, me, Kevin, that sounds, that sounds like a, like a, you know, business brand or something like that. No, like everybody knows me by that, right? Nobody knows Kevin Pafrath. And again, it all goes back to the precedent. They've literally allowed somebody to use their sumo name. So why is it different for me? Why can't I? Like, I'm not asking for special exceptions. Look, Governor Newsom, he sued 
because he missed the deadline. There are other candidates who sued because they screwed up their paperwork. I'm just suing to literally have fairness. That's all I want is what other people have had before me. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate you watching this video. Feel free to support the campaign at meetkevin.com slash donate, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.